Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. So today we'll be having the new update. The two new monsters are in game already and hopefully we are able to pull them. Yep, we'll be doing a summoning session for today. So we we'll just take a look at the two new monsters. So it is basically the Rune Hammer Blacksmith and also the Weapon Master. So this one, uh, we'll just check out. Here, so Miriam. I think Miriam is gonna be so good together with Lucian, giving an extra 25% for the attack power and stuff like that. Yeah, the same skill effects do not stack with each other. Very good stuff. Pretty good support. We already managed to see the skill sets for it earlier. So this one is the water one. <clears throat> we'll just take a look at the passive. Yeah, I, I mean, at the end of the day, accuracy, resistance check, all up to RNG sometimes you might be at 100% resistance but yeah you still get screwed on by the 15% chance if the opponent has like 15% accuracy so we just move on here this one's Selene allies with attack power increasing effect will decrease the enemy's defense for one turn okay pretty interesting this one so whenever you got the attack buff you are able to do armor break onto the enemy with a 50% chance. Allies with defense increasing effect will decrease the enemy's attack power. Okay. Pretty good passive this one. So beneficial hammering. Attack power and defense of all allies. Two turns creates a shield. If great is activated with a 30% chance. Yeah, I'm not too sure what is great at the moment. Okay. Moving on. This will be the LD counterpart. So we're seeing Madeline. So Madeline doesn't have a passive. The third skill is an active one. Reduces all allies skill cooldowns by one turn. Increases the duration of granted beneficial effects by one turn each as well. Ooh. Additionally increases the duration of beneficial effects granted on all allies by one turn. If great is activated with a 30% chance. So this is potentially a two turns increase of the beneficial effects if i'm reading this right not too bad yet again another support unit uh, second skill the same and the stun on the first skill so now we are looking at deborah deborah is the dark rune hammer blacksmith and it has this passive increases the decreasing effects of attack power the enemies received by 25 percent Ooh. Wow. Okay, this one is also really good. So, the armor break, you'll be able to do additional 25% more damage. So, it's something like a branding on it. Yeah. For the armor break. And then, if let's say they got attack power, all those debuffs on their side, they'll be hitting a lot less. From what I'm reading here. <laughs> so pretty nice stuff coming up from Deborah and then now we'll be able to take a look at the weapon master so Carlos Carlos is the fire one attack bar increases by 75% when an enemy dies and your attack power increases by up to by up to 300% equal to the dead target's base attack power ooh this is actually quite interesting, you know, because they didn't mention that he needs to kill. It's just whenever an enemy dies, he'll be gaining all this. Wow. He might be actually pretty decent, but we need to see his damage multiplier. We're seeing his HP pretty decent, attack also quite high. However, he's an attack unit, so 8, 2, 3, fair enough. Defense pretty good as well, 637. And speed, so awakens into crit rate, yeah, crit rate here. Second skill, weakness shot, attack the enemy to leave a branding effect for two turns and attacks three more times. Ooh. Damage increases as the enemy's HP condition is bad. Pretty interesting. So this is another multi-hit with HP recovery debuff onto the enemy. Okay, pretty good. Honestly, I'm looking at the fire one more so far. 
So Liam, this one is the water attack all enemies if there are three more enemies. Yeah, we already uh saw this skill sets coming up from the notice update a few days back. And I feel like maybe this one can be good in Necros because it has multi-hits on the third skill. Mm, this one, putting beneficial block, so might be good in Steel Fortress as well. But however, I'm not sure whether it's decent in RT slash Siege. Yeah, we might need to take a test on it first before we can conclude that. So moving on, Dominic, this one is the win one. Second and first skill same as the fire. Your attack power increases as your HP decreases. Attacks additionally when attacking an enemy on your turn. This attack deals damage proportional to your max HP if your HP exceeds 50% and recovers HP equal to the damage dealt if it's 50% or below. So this one... um, Yeah, we might need to see the multiplier on this. But so far, I think it's pretty good as well. Like, in terms of Siege defense, this unit might be meta, might be not. We might need to take a test on it. Because, somewhat similar to the Fuki, yeah. However, this one got inbuilt lifesteal as well. I mean, Fuki does have that, but on the normal attack, it doesn't really lifesteal that much. So this one, uh, if the HP is below 50%, it recovers like... Damage dealt towards it. Pretty nice, uh, good sustains coming up from him. However, need to take note that he's an attack unit, but his damage scales through max HP. So, might be conflicting a little bit. But yet again, we need to test everything out first in the practical terms, right? So theory-wise, pretty nice. Just that questioning a little bit on the base because it's an attack unit and we need to see the multiplier of the damage done from him as well. We'll be moving on to the LD counterparts which is Benedict here. Most likely we won't be getting it <laughs> but we'll just read it through. So final strike the passive attacks additionally so an extra damage here. Attack absorbs 30% of the enemy's attack bar if the enemy's HP exceeds 30% and deals damage that ignores the target's defense if it's 30% or below. Ooh. So this guy is gonna go a lot of turns if the enemy is still really healthy in terms of health. And once it's below 30%, it does ignore damage. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Second skill also the same as the fire and wind one. Okay, moving on. So just another good damage dealer there. Now Maximilian. Shadowless movement, this one. Okay, attacks all enemies four times. Wow. Each attack will decrease the and the defense for two turns. Attack power dot and actually absorbing the attack bar respectively. Who this is gonna be really good together with like things like Galen Tiana. So just another big nuker damage. Providing all these debuffs as well, I think it can be pretty nice. This time putting the beneficial effects and yeah, the normal attack of course is the same. So yeah, without further ado, we'll be doing a summoning session for today. But before we begin, Huawei App Gallery is having a huge campaign for you Summoners War players in conjunction with the new update and this campaign will last till the 17th of December. So please make sure to take advantage of it. Every day, you'll be able to claim a set of 3 coupons which provides a 15% discount on the game packs. All you have to do is click on the claim button for all 3 and then tick this I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Head over to continue here and congratulations, you claim this reward coupon. Very simple and it'll be under your rewards page. For the second offer, you will be also receiving 10% rebate in Huawei points which goes up to 25% if you buy a lot of packs and want to join their free VIP program. Please check the Discord for more details. One Huawei point is worth one of whichever currency you use to make the purchase. So for example, if you bought a 100 euro pack, you get from 10 to 25 euros rebate to spend on any in-game purchases. 
Next up, I'll be showing you all how to claim the cashback for purchasing Summoner's War packs. So just head over into your game and we are gonna purchase this daily pack one and it's like a four pounds fifty pence thing and we'll use our PayPal for it. And yeah, just go ahead and purchase it. Once that is done, you'll be directed to this page, payment complete. To receive your power points, click the agree button here. And then they'll be able to show you the points back and just head over to click the claim button. It's that easy. To participate in this campaign, please follow the steps in the Summoners War Discord server down in the description below. Ensure that you set your country in the app gallery settings to the UK, Ireland, New Zealand or even Australia to participate. It works wherever you're based. If you have any questions, please drop a message in the Summoners War channels or to the channel admin in their Discord. If you purchase a lot of packs in Summoners War as well, message the admin for an invite to get an extra VIP rebate. Once again, thank you to Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring this video and let's continue on with our summoning session. We'll be going ahead to buy this pack. So it is the Ancient Transcendence pack and this time, you'll be able to use the Splendid Blessing of Summon. So I think this will be pretty interesting. Let's just go ahead and purchase this one. And the purchase is successful. So let's head over to our inbox. We are gonna do a summoning session for the new units as well, which I've talked about earlier. And yeah, let's see how many scrolls we do have now. Um, one Ancient Transcendent Scroll, three LDs, 42 Mysticals. So did we collect the crystals yet? Nope. And let's just buy a couple of premium packs as well. We'll make it so that we got about a hundred mystical scrolls. Let's just get about six in total, I think. Wait, how many did I buy already? <laughs> Let's just collect all this first. I'm still looking for Carnal, you know? Yeah, since we are able to use the Splendid of Blessing in this Ancient Transcendence Scroll, I think it's gonna be very clutch to get our new toy and uh, maybe an early Christmas present. So let's see how many summons that we do have now. 97, we'll buy one more pack and we'll save the crystals, uh, the remainder for farming giants or necros. Okay, I feel good. Come on, we'll head over to channel 101. We are in ready. And let's start our summoning session, boys and girls. We do have the SP summon as well. I'm honestly looking for the fire weapon master as well. I think this passive is quite insane. Your attack bar increases by 75% when an enemy dies. Attack power increases by up to 300% equal to the dead target's base attack power. Yeah, I think this one is pretty crazy. I'm looking at the fire units basically, yeah? So let's start with our mystical summons. Yeah, we do have about 100-ish. Come on, we need that early lightning. Potentially net 5, hopefully. Oh, we have two blessings. I, I believe the pack gave you one blessing earlier. I didn't really notice that. <laughs> so first lightning, come on. Ah. We need the black screen. We'll close this one. Come on, come on. The new toys at least. And I believe there is the... Every 10 mystical scrolls that you do, then you get like one back uh, for the event. The event page. So, so far, one lightning only. After about... 20 scrolls. This ain't good. <laughs> However, we are guaranteed a new toy. So honestly, I wish our blessings gave us two fire units. Because with fire means that I do have quite a lot of chance to get something that I really want, which is the I still need like things like Balanus, Okeanos, Kanal. And now with the new fire weapon master as well. Yeah, we'll just store everything in the storage then. 
Man, the lightning rate. Really bad. Come on, we're already down like what, 35 scrolls. Let me get the lightning man. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Are we gonna exhaust all our mystical scrolls for one lightning? This ain't looking too good. Oh no, it's one of those days. Okay, second lightning, come on. <sighs> Not even a new toy yet. The Rakshasha Hua. So if you haven't built that unit yet, it's pretty good in doing like solo R5. Apart from that, maybe tear away hard against the the male boss. Yeah. But that's about it, really. Oh no, what's this? We're lagging. And we're back. For some reason they disconnected us. <laughs> So we'll continue on with our remaining 55 scrolls. So, so far, two lightning. This isn't looking too good, man. Come on. Our lightning rate needs to pick up right here. Oh. Maybe I should have summoned another day. <laughs> this ain't looking too good, man. Still no lightning. Okay, finally, man. Black screen. New toy? Is that? Is that a Galen? Ah, no, nope, not even Galen. So it's the win one. Oh no. Yeah, maybe we should have saved more scrolls for Christmas summons. So with that being said, maybe I won't be doing Christmas summons already because we are doing the summons now. So fourth lightning. Akia! Yeah, we don't need this. We already got all of our Succubus Max skill. Oh, we're not even gonna get a new toy, eh? <sighs> Miriam, what's this? Oh, the rune... The rune hammer blacksmith. So we're seeing a lot of holiday events as well. So let me just check this out. Uh-huh, we'll be able to collect this. Oh. I'm assuming the more you summon, then you get like... Oh, for every 100 crystals you use, you get one. One of those shoe. The Christmas sock. And you'll be able to buy like legendary scroll as well. So we'll just get this. <laughs> and collect this 10 mystical scrolls as well. Come on, man. So we're back at 35. We need more lightnings. Potentially the black screen. Newstone Agent Lisa. The only Lisa I want is Blackpink, but then <laughs> not this one. <laughs> Come on. Mermaid. Okay. Lightning rate picking up. Oh, but we still need the Nat 5. The last 20 scrolls before we move on to the LDs. LDs we only got 3 though but you never know right? Every scroll has that percentage of chance to get a lightning. So hopefully another new stone agent. Yeah 3 LDs. Hopefully we can pull one lightning there. Get lucky. And potentially a Naftis. <laughs> yeah, if I get Naftis, it's gonna be so good. It's a Heart Magician, the Water One. Good skill ups for my potential Harmonia in the near future. So down to the last five Mystical Scrolls. Man. <sighs> last Scroll Lightning though. And we can't even pull the new toy. The Rune Hammer Blacksmith, that one is a net 4, right? We can't even get that. Okay. LD counterparts. <laughs> Whatever, man. Any of this. Come on. 
Please come to us. Ah, we need the lightning. Inferno dark. Come on, lightning. Hi. <laughs> oh, back to back this. This trash. Oh no. No lightning, GG. So Griffin, yeah, we don't care about that. And I guess it's all up to the Ancient Transcendent Scroll here. We are definitely not gonna get anything good from this one. <sighs> I don't know, man. Okay, okay. Hopefully, hopefully it can out inside this blessing. Please, let's go. Oh! <laughs> yes! Wait, wait, wait. I want to read the, the wind or the fire one. Which one should we get? Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. We got the new toy. The attack power increases as your HP decreases. So this is something like a Fuki. And attacks additionally when attacking an enemy on your turn. This attack deals damage proportionate to your max HP if, if your HP exceeds 50% and recovers HP equal to the... Mm, I don't really need another wind damage dealer. I do have quite a lot of it already. However, the fire one... HP block. Putting branding effect. Damage increases when the enemy HP condition is bad. And your attack bar increases by 75% when an enemy dies. I, I actually like this passive. So your increase... Increases your attack power as well by up to 300% equal to the dead target's base attack power. <sighs> because this passive, right? I believe that... What do I want to say about this? It doesn't need him to kill, right? It didn't say like... He needs to kill to, to gain this passive. It's just whenever an enemy dies, his attack bar will increase by 75% and attack power up to 300%. That's what I'm learning from this skill. However, nobody really tested it out yet because it's still the first day. I don't care. Yeah, we're just gonna go with the fire one. <laughs> So yes, all right, a new toy. However, no Carnal, all those previous units, but we did pull the new fire weapon master, and we are definitely gonna do a showcase on it really soon. And yeah, uh, let me just prepare everything, and I'll be making future videos with the fire weapon master. So thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel as well. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and make sure to hit the notification bell so that whenever I go live as well, you'll be able to get a notification about it. And yeah, thank you once again to the sponsor for today's video, Huawei App Gallery. So thank you very much, guys. Take care. See you soon. Peace out.